Access granted. What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how I changed my lock sound to this. And to power up. So I got three requests on how to do that, and I think I'm going to show you guys today. So um, there's going to be three requirements for this. You're going to need a Mac, a jailbroken iPod, and you're also going to have to know how to SSH. And uh, it'll be easier if you use Cyberduck, because that's what I have, and it'll be easier to follow along with. So anyways, the first thing you need to do is download this uh, app right here called Switch. And I'll put the link in the sidebar on uh, how to download that. It's really easy to download. But yeah, you're going to have to do this, or download that for the video. So the first thing you need to do is open up GarageBand. And I already have it open. And um, you're going to want to create a project called Unlock. And I've already done this. So um, the first thing you need to do once you uh, have the GarageBand project is turn off the metronome. So turn that off, and then hit track delete track and delete that track right there then create a new track then go click real instrument and hit create alright now you should have a screen that looks kinda like this so now it's time to open up text edit and type in whatever you want your um, power up screen to say so I want mine to say hello Brian now you can go into system preferences, click on speech, and find a voice that you want. So I'm going to do uh, Vicky. Isn't it nice to have a computer that will talk to you? Okay, so that's the voice I'm going to be using. Now go into text edit and highlight um, the text that you've written. Go into edit, speech, and then start speaking. Hello, Brian. Okay, now that you have that right, go back into GarageBand and hit record. Now go into your text edit and play it. Edit, speech, start speaking. Hello, Brian. Okay, now you can stop recording. Okay, so now that you have this right here, this loop, you're going to want to find where it starts saying, Hello, Brian. Hold on. Okay, so it started about right here. Now hit Command T. Okay, then click in the gray area. Then click the left half and hit delete. Now move the loop over to the very beginning. Now find where it ends. Okay, so once you find where it ends, hit Control T again. Click in the gray area and click on the right half this time and hit delete. Okay, now you should just have this. Hello, Brian. Okay. So, now that you have this, you're going to go to share. Alright, now you want to send the song to iTunes and make an album called iPod Sounds and make sure it's MP3 encoder and high quality. Then you can just click share. Now this can take about a minute so I'm gonna pause it. Okay now your GarageBand song should s show up in iTunes. Let's play it just to see if I got it right. Hello Brian. Alright now open up Switch. The application that you should have downloaded from the sidebar. Okay, so now you should have this screen, and you're probably unfamiliar with it, so I'll show you what to do. Okay, go into Browse, then hit Desktop, and then hit Choose. Okay, now hit Add Files, go to Media, Music, then scroll down until you find the project that you imported to iTunes. So mine's going to be under Brian, and it's going to be called Unlock. Alright, there it is. Now just hit Choose. 
Now, under the output format, select AIF. It should be the second from the top. Then, hit convert. Alright, now if you've done this right, it should say unlock with a check next to it. Now you can close out of switches. You can also close out of iTunes and GarageBand. And text edit. So you can pretty much close out of everything. Now open up Cyberduck. Now I already have this open and I will show you what to do from here. So under the arrow, click down here to slash. Oh wait a second. Okay, now you should have this screen right here. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video or not, but you're going to want to download Crystal Voice from Cydia. If you haven't done that yet, then you should do that now. That's Crystal Voice from Cydia. C-R-Y-S-T-A-L space V-O-I-C-E. So once you've done that, then you can proceed to this step. You're going to uh, click right here where it says Library. You're going to click that triangle. Then go to Themes. Now find Crystal Voice. Okay, now hit UI Sounds, which should be your only option, and you'll get this screen right here. Now you'll notice how it says unlock.caf. So this means that you're going to want to find that document that you put onto your desktop and rename it unlock.caf. Then hit enter and click use c.caf. Now drag it in under UI sounds or UL sounds. I'm not sure if it's an I or an L, but okay, so drag it into UI sounds. And it should say um I'm going to allow it. Then it's going to give you the option to overwrite it. Now since I've already done this, I'm not going to overwrite it, so I'm going to hit cancel. Okay, now if you go into Winterboard and you hit uncheck Crystal Voice and you check Crystal Voice, then hit the home button, it should restart your springboard and when it loads back up, it should say whatever you set it to say. So thanks for watching. This is all about the iTouch. Please subscribe if you like this videos and there's other tutorials, reviews, and unboxings coming up in the future.